Hi, this is Brian. And Brian with G5 Outdoors giving your monthly product highlights for this month. Today we're going to talk about the small game head, also known as the SGH. Yeah, a lot of guys uh, know us for Montex and Tekkens and T3s, but in our back pocket is the small game head. Um, pretty much every hunter out there should have one in their quiver uh, ready to go. Um, here at G5, all of us carry one uh, when we're out deer hunting or or wherever we're at. This design's a little bit different than most other broadheads out there. Most other broadheads are out there for cutting and pass through. This one's actually made to stop and rip the product. Basically the, the, the front end's a little bit dull so when it hits the object it absorbs all the shock into the animal um, and it also has more of a ripping sensation so it doesn't go completely through the animal. So if you're shooting squirrels in the tree or you're shooting into the ground it doesn't go completely through. It actually can hit the animal and kick the arrow off or hit the sod and kick the arrow up so you're not burying these into this into the dirt and grass. You know what I mean? You know how much the yeah. combination of an arrow and a, and a broadhead costs. So. Yeah, exactly. And like Brian said, it will kick it up. So for guys that actually do want to go out and small game hunt, which a lot of guys do, squirrels or rabbits, uh, it's the perfect head so you don't lose your arrow and it's just it's a lot of blunt force trauma to get that, that small critter. And we've actually even, uh, we've done it here as well at G5 and some other customers actually turkey hunted with a small game head. But with this, you actually want to hit the turkey in the neck region, as we have our friend here over next to Brian. <laughs> He's our guest appearance uh, today. <laughs> so, but that, that is just one option. Not a lot of guys use it for that, but the main purpose is small game, uh, whether it might be your, your local gopher you're having issues with or a squirrel while you're out deer hunting. Uh, actually, our friend Carl has actually sent in some hunting footage we'd like to show you now. So. Yeah, check this out. Good thing I got my fro. The yeah. beef fro. Brian shows up today. He's, he doesn't have the afro going. He's got the beef fro rolling this way. Because you shoot him in the body, it'll go like this. And they go, oh, they, their, oh, feathers, oh. And their feathers are like armor. Like under armor. But they're, it's actually outer armor. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm the bat. We're here at the base. Oh! <laughs> it breaks his neck. <laughs> yeah, you gotta give him the call. That's what happens. You give them that cluck, they start gobbling, it's on. Brian! Nah. So it's getting mad. Hi, this is Brian. And Brian. Carried <laughs> <laughs> his so, feelings. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>